Hello everyone, my name is Ryan and this is the second video in a two-part series in which I discuss what I consider to be the best Linux distribution for gaming uh, and, this, and this is entirely based on the out-of-box experience after installation. In the previous video we discussed Pop! OS and in this video we're going to be discussing Manjaro. Now Manjaro can actually be officially installed with the uh, XFCE, KDE or GNOME desktop environments as you can see here although there are several other ones that are available that are developed by the Manjaro community so as you can see there's a list of them all here uh, there's also actually versions that run on single board process, uh, processing devices such, such as the Raspberry Pi as you can see here as well now I'll be the first to admit I do have some bias with this distribution as it's actually what I use for my daily driver and my reasoning for using Manjaro is the same as any other ArchBase distribution now, in particular, the main advantage of using Manjaro for gaming are as follows. You will always have the option of installing the latest versions of packages in comparison to other distributions such as Ubuntu. So, for example, if there is a new GPU driver or a version of Wine that specifically resolves the problem that you're having, you will get the option to install it much earlier on Manjaro. Uh, in addition, much like how Pop! OS bundles the GPU driver on the ISO file, it will also be installed and enabled as part of the installation process of Manjaro. However, if you do ever want to just manually change the driver version, Manjaro does include the hardware configuration utility. This one, which is this one here. Uh, this will actually automatically install either the latest proprietary or open source driver, depending on which option you choose. And it is literally just as simple as clicking up there, clicking yes, typing in your root password, and that's it. At that point, you just reboot your system, and it's all installed. Now, in addition to installing the latest GPU drivers with a simple utility, you can actually install new versions of the Linux kernel, as you can see here. Now, all the Typically, newer kernel versions do not affect the performance per se of the gaming. If you do actually have new hardware, you will actually require a newer kernel that supports it. Now, this is in contrast to a fixed distribution, such as Ubuntu, that would actually release one every six months. So, for example, if you actually get some new hardware that's not supported on Ubuntu until the next version of the Linux kernel, then you're out of luck unless you use a distribution such as Manjaro. Now, the main disadvantage of using Manjaro is purely because it's based on Arch. And the reason I say that is that there's a small chance that the packages that you actually install can actually break your system. Now, this risk is somewhat mitigated because what you'll tend to find is that the Manjaro team will actually hold back updates a couple of weeks after being released on Arch. Now, this in theory allows any potential bugs to be found and fixed before the update is actually released to the Manjaro repositories. But as with any rolling distribution, backups are essential. So, in conclusion, Manjaro does offer you the best possible gaming experience with the latest versions of the drivers, applications and Linux kernel kernels available to be installed, but it does require the end user to be mindful of what they're actually doing. Now, personally, if I was given the choice between Pop! OS and Manjaro, I would recommend starting with Pop! OS if you're actually new to gaming on Linux, or Linux in general. However, once you've got your feet wet, give Manjaro a spin. So, this brings this video and this particular series to an end, but as always, thank you very much for watching, and if you did find this video helpful, please do like the video, and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Thank you again, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.